Time is ticking as it's now time to cue the titles. Here we go. Oh yes, tickly dog. Check it. As it's now time to cue the titles. Here we go. Oh, yes. Tickly dog. Ting ting. I'm Snazzy and this is Snazzy's Important Stuff. Where stuff is literally important. And today we're talking about the one crucial topic that everybody probably most needs to know about. It's about making a stand. Have you ever wondered that you've been having a situation where it feels it's going out of control? Conspiring, spinning around, making it feel like you can't cope, whether it's families, friends situations you cannot deal with the answer is simply this make a stand for what you believe in if you believe it's right say something do not keep your mouth shut do not basically say that you are not you're okay with it because if you're not you're not because quite simply you need to say what you believe is right not what they think is right because sometimes what you think is right is more than what they say. Because sometimes when you need to think about how you feel and what you feel is different to what they feel. And that is why today I'm going to tell you quite simply, believe in the fact that you choose how you feel. And when I'm saying all about how you feel and how you make a stand, you could do it in many, many different ways. You can basically speak to them, explain to them how you feel. You can easily just go and say, look, this is what I think it is. I don't think this is right. Can you basically do this differently? If a person isn't willing to listen or isn't willing to understand, say to them, go, I'm going to write you a note. Read this and say to yourself, why am I saying this? Why do you think I'm saying this? Do I have a reason why I'm saying this? Because I do. I have simple reasons why it's been said and how it's been said. Things are not said for no reason. Things are said for reasons and logical reasons only. Because quite literally, some people think you say things for no reason. But you don't. You quite simply say it for reasons that are justified and made to the point. Just as the point has been made, you need to say and stand up and say, I am representing this as what I believe is right. And sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. But sometimes you have to stand up and say, I believe this cause and I believe it's true and I believe it is and I say so. And it's not because you're saying so because you're saying it's the right thing to say and the right thing to do. It's because you believe the cause of what it is and how it's justified. And that is how you can do it. But do it in a productive way. Don't do it in a way that makes it go all hair raising and running around. Do it in a way that you feel that it's going to be sensible and productive to other people at the same time. For them to go, oh, it's right, it's right, it's right. Not going, oh, he's just saying that and in a foul mood. We're just going to leave him now. It's not that case. You have to physically believe the fact that they have to get to you 
in your mind and think, okay, he's talking sense. He's not angry. He's not vicious. He's not nasty. He's making a point. We should listen. And that's the point you need to have it have to be. It can't be vicious. It has to be a logical, sensible conversation. It can't be anything of the point. So obviously that's the point I'm trying to make for making a stand because that is the point you've got to be at. You have to make that stand by being logical and sensible, not by the other method. So that is it for today's episode of Make a Stand. Uh, please note, I do apologise for the long lengthy gap between shows. I am now going to be introducing scheduled slots, so basically the shows will be coming on YouTube automatically per, per day. So basically, once I've set it all up, it will be physically sorted ASAP. So obviously there'll be a lot of recording processes, but obviously once I've got it through, there'll be it'll be going through every single week, scheduled as planned, and if like that, and so forth. So do not panic, there will be more shows coming along your way. But obviously coming up on Tuesday at 10 a.m., there will be the one and only Tom Bertram's secret release show will be available. So please do check that out. But if you had a chance to pre-order, please do pre-order now. Buy why you get that chance to and pre-order and get that wonderful, incredible song up before 50. Because at the end of the day, that's what Mr. Lucky was. And we need to beat the Mr. Lucky score. So basically do that today and be amazing. So that's just it for today's episode of Important Stuff. We'll be back next time where there'll be more fun, more frolics and more important stuff. Until next time, this is me Snazzy, giving you the flip side of standing for yourself. Signing off. Goodbye for now. Ting ting. Peace out. literally special and today we're going to be talking about a story of the believer but before we begin I'm going to talk to you about the one simple thing that inspired me to this story as you may know there's been a musician that's inspired me for the past year and his name's Tom Bertram he's currently got a new single out called The Secret and it tells the story of how a person who hasn't had a, such a great day or a great life to encourage them to believe in themselves and know the fact that their dreams can come true. And that is why today I'm encouraging you to buy or stream his single today on Spotify, Amazon or even buy it on iTunes. But please do check it out. It's definitely worth recommending to anybody that needs the musical assistant from one only Tom Bertram. So now it's, let's get on with the show. I'm now going to physically tell you a story about a person who found it difficult to believe but one day met someone who showed them the right way. So many years ago on a dark side of the moon a young guy who's about like in his 20s had multiple problems and multiple issues. He didn't know where he stood, he didn't know where he stand, and yet he was really stuck. He had family problems, he had communicational issues, 
didn't know where to turn or to talk to. And one day, but of course he had Facebook so he could be able to see people but not communicate because he struggled to communicate him. So when obviously one day this musician came along and he basically finally opened up and expressed what the problems were and said, mate, come and see me perform and I will take half an hour of my time to talk to you about your issues. And so he went. He went to a gig, which was right at the top of a mountain, which was quite literally. And he watched his gig. He was sitting on a table on his own. People did speak to him. He opened up briefly and spoke to them, but felt very nervous. Felt very kind of not sure what to say and how to say it. So then it came to the half time break. He came, the musician came straight over and said, Mate, we're going to go downstairs and have that chat. So, this gentleman went up to the musician and said, Yeah, I've got these few problems, I don't know how to deal with it or even to deal with it in the right way. So, the, he listened to the story of the musician. And the musician basically said, I had a American psychologist who helped me and enabled me to think differently so he gave the method of how to think differently how to do the complete opposite of what you would normally do even in those hardest moments the sky got stronger he became stronger because of that one day that one night that met that musician the musician gave him exercises Exercises to enable him to become stronger within himself. And he enabled himself so much stronger. And to this day, he became a fur believer of to help end suffering with music. Because if there's anything that's possible, it certainly is. And since that day, that guy has been going to many of his gigs. To basically believe the fact that any change is possible and deemed necessary. To know the fact that people can understand that becoming a believer isn't an easy thing to start off with. And the fact is, it isn't. But once you believe in something, and knowing the fact that dreams can come true, nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you at all. All you've got to do is ride the wave and reach to what you want to believe in and how you want to believe it. Because that gentleman certainly did. He certainly believed in the fact that this one gentleman became his hero. Became a hero of many wonders. Like a brother to him pretty much. A brother that became of such importance, such importance that is a treasure of beauty in the heart. So whenever you get a chance, whenever you feel the belief is needed there, as the saying goes, believe in yourself where your dreams can come true. Because they can. They literally can. And they certainly make a difference. Day in, day out. And I hope you enjoyed the story. And I just want you to see that. Everybody who suffers with social anxiety. To believe the fact that there's always a bright side on the other side. And always a bright side to know the fact that you're not alone. All you've got to do is believe that when you have a dream, fight for it because it's real. It's certainly real. Because dreams can.
can come true. Thank you ever so much for watching. I'm Snazzy and this is Let's Be Sociable and this is Story of the Believer. That is it for today's episode. And there will be another episode coming up soon. Until next time, this is me Snazzy giving you the flip side of enjoyment. And showing the fact there's secrets and belief. Signing off. Goodbye for now. Ting ting. Peace out. literally special and today we're going to be talking about a story of the believer but before we begin I'm going to talk to you about the one simple thing that inspired me to this story as you may know there's been a musician that's inspired me for the past year and his name's Tom Bertram he's currently got a new single out called The Secret and it tells the story of how a person who hasn't had a, such a great day or a great life to encourage them to believe in themselves and know the fact that their dreams can come true. And that is why today I'm encouraging you to buy or stream his single today on Spotify, Amazon or even buy it on iTunes. But please do check it out. It's definitely worth recommending to anybody that needs the musical assistance from one only Tom Bertram. So now is, let's get on with the show. I'm now going to physically tell you a story about a person who found it difficult to believe but one day met someone who showed them the right way. So many years ago on a dark side of the moon a young guy who's about like in his 20s had multiple problems and multiple issues. He didn't know where he stood, he didn't know where he stand, and yet he was really stuck. He had family problems, he had communicational issues, didn't know where to turn or to talk to. And one day, but of course he had Facebook so he could be able to see people but not communicate because he struggled to communicate him so when obviously one day this musician came along and he basically finally opened up and expressed what the problems were and said mate come and see me perform and I will take half an hour of my time to talk to you about your issues and so he went. He went to a gig, which was up right at the top of a mountain, which was quite literally. And he watched his gig. He was sitting on a table on his own. People did speak to him. He opened up briefly and spoke to them, but felt very nervous. Felt very kind of not sure what to say and how to say it. So then it came to the half time break. He came, the musician came straight over and said, Hey, we're going to go downstairs and have that chat. So, this gentleman went up to the musician and said, 
Yeah, I've got these few problems. I don't know how to deal with it or even to deal with it the right way. So the, he listened to the story of the musician. And the musician basically said, I had an American psychologist who helped me and enabled me to think differently. So he gave the methods of how to think differently. How to do the complete opposite of what you would normally do. Even in those hardest moments, the sky got stronger. He became stronger because of that one day, that one night, that met that musician. The musician gave him exercises. Exercises to enable him to become stronger within himself. And he enabled himself so much stronger. And to this day, he became a fur believer of to help end suffering with music. Because if there's anything that's possible, it certainly is. And since that day, that guy has been going to many of his gigs. To basically believe the fact that any change is possible and deemed necessary. To know the fact that people can understand that becoming a believer isn't an easy thing to start off with. And the fact is, it isn't. But once you believe in something, and knowing the fact that dreams can come true, nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you at all. All you've got to do is ride the wave and reach to what you want to believe in and how you want to believe it. Because that gentleman certainly did. He certainly believed in the fact that this one gentleman became his hero. Became a hero of many wonders. Like a brother to him, pretty much. A brother that became of such importance. Such importance that is a treasure of beauty in the heart. So whenever you get a chance, whenever you feel the belief is needed there, as the saying goes, believe in yourself where your dreams can come true. Because they can. They literally can. And they certainly make a difference. Day in, day out. And I hope you enjoyed the story. And I just want you to see that. Everybody who suffers with social anxiety. To believe the fact that there's always a bright side on the other side. And always a bright side to know the fact that you're not alone. All you've got to do is believe that when you have a dream, fight for it because it's real. It's certainly real. Because dreams can come true. Thank you ever so much for watching. I'm Snazzy and this is Let's Be Sociable and this is Story of the Believer. That is it for today's episode. And there will be another episode coming up soon until next time this is me snazzy giving you the flip side of enjoyment and showing the fact there's secrets and belief signing off goodbye for now ting ting peace out